did you discover that you were a mutant? The first symptoms of mutation appeared when I was very young. I must say that I can't really remember very well. My mother noticed them, and she taught me how to hide the marks, even though I think that I didn't know what it meant. She was hoping to keep me close to her, but as soon as the first marks appeared in my face, they spotted me out right away. I will never forget my arrest, how violent they were toward my mother. I was just a kid. I was sent to one of the farms on the outskirts of town. That's where I learned what it meant to be a mutant. What's the mutant nation? You created it, right? It is a little overblown, but I was one of its founders, among many others. Of course, other mutants were living outside the city as runaway slaves, hidden here and there, stealing whatever they could find in order to survive. A small community had settled in Noctis and benefited from the hospitality of the merchants, who allowed them to move around freely. However, we did not have any way to defend ourselves or plan a future. We were all spread out. A few of us decided to get together. We found a place, a very unique one, and we soon started doing it up, bringing in equipment and erecting houses. As for me, I especially wanted to free as many brothers and sisters as possible. So I went back to Ophir, and I realized that nobody cared about mutants, especially if they didn't look very smart. I began to help dozens of them escape. And our nation soon began to grow. There are a lot of us now, and I hope that all mutants will be able to live there someday. What does Noctis represent for you? It is the city of our allies. Without it, Mutant Valley would have probably never come into existence, even if some of them think the opposite. This town is welcomed and still welcomes many runaway mutants. Here they can free themselves from the servile state they were in. Noctis is somehow the freedom school for many of them. Of course, it remains a human city, and segregation is sometimes present even if it is not official. And I don't completely agree with Dandolo's decisions, but overall it is a place that I love that boasts of mixing everyone together, of bringing all philosophies into dialogue with each other, and of welcoming the hopeless. Can't go through here. Can't go through here. Hey, you! Yes, yes, you! Do you have a moment? Hey there. Hello, I'm Brett, and you are? Zachariah. A pleasure then, Zachariah. Are you a hunting enthusiast, a trapper, specialist in local species? Maybe a strong fellow like you might be a mixture of them all. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm none of those things. Ah, well, my hope got the best of me. I've been looking for someone to aid in my studies. A shame. Sure you're not a hunter, or even someone who'd want to try his hand at it. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, of course, of course. You see, the focus of my study is the planet's fauna, all the insects and animals brought by the settlers that have since mutated, much like our own mutants, if not in a more spectacular way. Now, I've studied the most well-known of the creatures, of course, but I have heard of much more rare specimens, which I would go to any lengths to study it would offer great insight into the animal mutations. Anyone can admire their beauty, but what we need is to understand how they came to be what they are. We need to study their anatomy, but they are, of course, rather dangerous. So you need a hunter to find them and bring back your specimens. You might be able to help. What are you after? Well, there is so much. Um, there's a black mole and a shield toad. Also a locust I've named Locusta tempestatus, or more colorfully, the storm locust. It's been spotted in the tunnels beneath Ophir.
check in the leading against me. Ah, and here comes the rare pearl, the diamond in the rough that my Nisha tells me about. Come, young man. Zachariah Manser. I am... was a lieutenant in abundance. Then welcome to Noctus Labyrinthus, Zachariah Manser, former lieutenant of abundance. I am Dandolo, head of this fair city. Legendary city of the merchants. Apparently less legend than I thought, or been told. But hopefully as glorious as legends proclaim. Regardless, for all who come seeking asylum, it opens its arms to you and your companions. You are free to call it home. Like all who have come before you, you will honor our only request. That you make yourselves useful to our city. I'm sure your skills will place you in high demand. Noctis's first Technomancer. Exciting. You'll have all the help you need with Nisha and Lucky, who I believe you've met. We'll give you a room to get some rest. I hear your trip was quite eventful. There is something else. I would like to personally discuss my expectations of you. You hear? War between Abundance and Aurora's winding down. Aurora took Green Hope. You just left Ophir a few hours ago and didn't hear anything about that. That really surprise you? Your little censorship office probably hasn't decided what to do with the information yet. No, no. Don't look at me like that. You don't belong to Abundance anymore. The truce doesn't behoove us. During peace, the corporations become more suspicious of us and our business suffers. Our city could even be... discovered, which would be catastrophic. In legend, it must remain. What are you... No, no, let me speak. Your welcome here comes at a price. I want you to attack an Aurora convoy. It's right up your alley. And why would I do that? I didn't finish. You will do it in abundance uniforms, dissolving the truce. Do what you want with the soldiers, but let the civilians live. They need to be witnesses that will report back to Aurora. So you keep the war going? Precisely. And while you're at it, bring back the uniforms of the Aurora Technomancers you dispatch. I'm sure I'll find a use for them down the road. Ah, another thing, much more trivial this time, I assure you. The rover you came in on, I'd like you to move it. Put it wherever you want, do whatever you want with it. Just make sure it's not in the way, in the canyon. I just don't want Ophir to stumble over the machine and, as a result, find the road that leads here. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Oh yes, one last thing. My spies gave me a little tidbit that might interest you. Right after your escape, the ASC arrested your Technomancer brothers, that's what you call them, right? From Ophir. Their fate's uncertain, but if I was you, I'd be worried for them. If you're worried enough to want to help them, maybe we can set up some sand sails to get you back. And your help comes at what cost? Assuming it's not out of the kindness of your heart. Don't be so bitter, Zachariah. Business is business, not personal. I just thought, a few Technomancers on our side might be useful.
Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Corpses, misery. Those things follow a merchant of death. We should never have left Ophir. I would have died there, Scott. I'm sorry you had to come with me. I really am. You could have stayed. But I have to go see what Dandolo wants. I know it sounds bad, but what do you think Abundance or Aurora would do if they found our little outcast city? Dandolo may be cruel, but in the end, he only wants what's good for Noctis. coming back here makes me feel like I need to wake up finally it feels like I've been sleeping for so long trapped in a bad dream everything I've done I've done for abundance now sneaking in like some rat I want to wake up from it all Scott Scott come on we didn't have a choice you know that Hey there, you from Noctis. Don't seem like a merchant. Yes and no. Here on a private matter. You by any chance know the Underworks? Well enough. Even here, there's rules that forbid us to go to certain parts of the city, but in these tunnels, they become little more than technicalities. I'm looking to get to the Technomancer's Chapel. There's an entrance in the crypt, but I don't know how to get there. Well, I can show you the tunnels under the source. Once upon a time, I used to smuggle merchandise through there. Remember hearing about some magical gate down there, too? I take it it's the kind of gate only your kind can open? <laughs> yeah, I've run into a few of those along my travels. I'll show you on a map. Be careful, Mr. Technomancer. The tunnels have always been guarded. Now it's probably even worse. Word is that the ASC's forced its way into the chapel's main entrance. I'm gonna need another Technomancer to help me open this gate, or find another way in. I'm sure it won't be easy, but thanks for the help. It's gonna do a lot of good. Good luck. Good luck.
Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level.
Here to free you, you and all the others. We must go though, now. Ah, Zachariah, my faith in you was not misplaced. I. Yeah, come on, we're going to take you down! Yeah. They're coming, Zachariah. Go! There's a dome hidden in the desert, one spoken of in the tablet you brought me. Find it! You won't get away! They're here! Lead our kind to the crypt. Save them! Come on, guys! I won't leave you. There is no time to debate! Go! Master. No. Go now, Zachariah. Save our kind. Get out of the way. Go. Go along yourself. Then, Zachariah, is anyone missing? Victor's men came like a storm with that piece of shit Allen beside them. If we were going to escape, they had to be stopped at any cost. And so your great master sacrificed himself so you could... A heroically sad story, Zachariah. As sorry as I am, though, we need to leave and take the others.
Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Take this elevator straight to the sand sails. From there, the merchants will take you to Noctis. Are you? The legendary city of the merchants? For real? Amazing! That... But what about the other Technomancers who escaped the ASC too? Are they gonna be able to... Talk to the merchant running the sand sails. I'm sure he'll be able to help them too. And they can join us in Noctis with other caravans. Zachariah, thank you. What would have happened to us without you?
Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. <laughs> 